Good morning. Today we are at a very special park. It is the Los Encinos State Historical Park and it is so near our home that we have walked here many, many, many times, especially during the quarantine. At the very beginning of quarantine, I think we must have walked by it every day for a month. The reason it's such a special park to us is because my daughters grew up here. We used to come and watch the ducks and feed the ducks. We've had birthday parties here. We've had picnics here. It's a lovely little respite in the middle of the city. The pond here was built in the 1800s by one of the early ranchers and is fed by a natural spring. Look at all these gorgeous, gorgeous creatures. The park abuts a restaurant called Lakeside Cafe, which has a very large open seating section. So you actually could come here during quarantine. This is the reason that the ranchero was built here because this is the natural spring that is feeding the pond that I showed you. Look at how robust that is. It's pretty extraordinary. Here there's a natural lemon grove um, that's been here a very long time. It's so well taken care of. Look at how beautifully the lemon trees are trimmed and cleaned up at the base. Really lovely. Now the park has many oaks here. These oak, uh, Encino in Spanish means oak. So these are all oaks that have been here a very long time. Lovely, lovely shade. And then over here, there's this spectacular cacti that has continued to grow and grow over the years. It's not just one cacti, it's many cacti together. Almost like a yucca plant with these huge tall spires. This used to be a working rancho in the 1800s, as I said. And so back here, tucked away in the corner, is actually a blacksmith shop. Can you imagine? In the middle of Encino. Let's see if I can get a picture of the inside. So this used to be a sheep herder's shed and then it was turned into a blacksmith shop. And you can tour it once a month. Here's the esplanade that goes down the side of one of the buildings. It's beautiful, the adobe building here. And uh, when it's not COVID, you can actually, this is a little museum and you can look inside and see what the residents were doing and how they were living and making food and, and surviving in the 1800s here in California. So while the adobe was the center of ranch life, there's actually a two-story building here where the ranchers who owned the property lived. Here it is. And it is an actual museum. And I'm looking there and I'm seeing the door open, which makes me think you can go inside. Let me see. So I think you can go inside the little museum. I am not going to do that because I'm in super quarantine right now, but um, it's a fun place to go and visit and see more about the history here. This looks like part of the farming that might have happened. And it's just a walk away from Ventura Boulevard. 
here's the food storage house, and while it's not much to look at, I find it just extraordinary that um, in the middle of this very busy, very overbuilt city, we have been able to maintain this kind of history. It's really inspiring, and we have to thank the, the parks for that. Before we leave, I just want to show you one last panoramic view of this beautiful vista, all of this beautiful green here at the park, next to the adobe. And then I want to show you one last, one last view of the pond. There's a geese parade going on. This is such a beautiful, relaxing place in the middle of the city. <laughs> At the moment, it doesn't feel so relaxing because the geese are just so noisy. But it's fun to see them. It's fun to visit. And there's so much beautiful history here. I recommend a visit.